And a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Coming up on today's episode. Two artists exhibit their latest works in an exhibition at the Wheat Baker. Then we enjoy a performance by the National Troupe of Nigeria. That and more when Art House returns in a moment. Do stay with us. The whole idea in all my work is to generate a certain level of questioning on the way the modern man relates to the planet Earth. of the drum is a performance which explores the beauty of love and unity put together by members of the National Troop of Nigeria in Lagos. It's a tale of unity, love and diversity, using the drums, costume, makeup and dialogue. The sound of Omele has washed off their impurities. The sound of Congo has washed off death from their feet. The call of the drums! I've been wondering what is about to happen here. You see, many years ago, a culture and tradition evolved in the western part of this state, where clans with drums lineage, endowed with skillful and stylistic and creative drumming exist. Just as some are known for leather designs, some with creative ability to make shoes for high chiefs, some are created with everyday celebration of masquerades, while others are dance inclined. They dance for dignitaries. They thrill people with their telepathic movements. So do the household of the Agole Ayon. This is the drummer's home, the clan of the drums. Once in a while, they throw you logic to the drums. They celebrate the drums. <laughs> so as to procreate an avenue for the total display of drums. They do this to summon the gods associated with the drums to protect and guide any member of the clan who may be far from their reach. And so today, it is with that same spirit of reverence that Abayon, being overjoyed at the birth of his triplets, decides to feast and then summon those gods associated with the drums to protect the new babies. Beat! Hit the drums! The National Troupe of Nigeria performs their storytelling instrumentation in Lagos to discuss messages which are relevant to the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
that have all the skills required of performance, both acting, dancing, you know, drumming and all that, you know. And um, it's actually total African theater because everything is integrated and so on. So I see it quite appropriate to celebrate no matter the circumstances we face today in Nigeria. For the team, the Evergreen story is crucial to the country's political, cultural and ethnocentric landscapes.
echoes of the drama the play written by Ola Awakon and directed by Mike Anyawu. It is necessary and even compulsory for every one of us to know that if we are, we are united as one nation, it will be better for us. Because if we are thinking that, oh, we have the Yorubas apart, we have the Igbos, we have the Alsa, one day there will be war and things will not be going well. So it is better for us to unite as one and as a nation and things will go well and better for us. Smith today is by Elizabeth Ogumadede, titled Will Not Your Heart to Break, and the artwork is by Boa Tang. It goes beyond the bracelets, beyond secret knocks that opens doors for sleepovers. It goes beyond tables for two, at some diner with pizzas too, the physical might just be a cover. It goes beyond your shared taste in flowers beyond the shared delight in shopping or that shared secret recipe for dessert. True friendship goes beyond them all. It seeks the entire heart of those playing the game called true friendship. Know your friends so well, so you may stand a chance of no heartbreak when the chameleon called friend attempts to shred your heart. Lovely performance by the National Troupe and our wordsmith Elizabeth, thank you for opening our eyes to the beauty of friendship. We're taking a moment now at our returns with more. Join us again. These are the works we sent in this week. Let's begin with this one called Mixed Feelings. It's an acrylic on canvas work by Innocent Chikeze. Then this Afro-Surrealism work is done with acrylic and colored ballpoint pen on paper by Dunbo Dinbi. It's called The More Crazy. Then pointillism on paper is how Oguntola Kende has decided to render this untitled piece. While gift is Tomiwa Adelagun's mixed media on canvas work. Be like children, that's what Arad J. Art is saying with this colored pencil on paper piece. Nigeria, we are one, is a moral graphic design by Elijah John. <music> then
Then this pen on paper work is done by Mecca Williams. It's called 43 hours on board. Vibrant Woman is a mixed media on paperwork by Thomas Benjamin. While this poster color painting is titled Life in Nigeria, is done by Oluwa Teme. That concludes the works of Hachi Sente this week. We appreciate you for sending them in as always and encourage you to keep them coming. Kindred Spirit is an exhibition by two contemporary artists who revealed their latest collections put together by SMO Contemporary in Lagos. About 30 works of art that emphasize the similarity yet differences between two contemporary artists, Tayo Olayode and Ade Odumfa, who have a lot of connections which are displayed by the SMO Contemporary Art in Lagos. to um, open the show Kindred Spirits, an exhibition of artworks um, by Tayo Olayode and Ade Adumfa. Um, the title is Kindred Spirits because we're dealing with two artists that are almost like twins. From the time that they were growing up, they grew up in the same neighborhood. They both studied at Amadubello in Zaria. They both graduated in 1998. They've had artistic projects for the last 25 years together, but they're very different, they're very unique. And I'm sure that you've seen today, we have 30 works. Um, both of them are really into texturality, so they're really looking at form and line and texture. Artistic director speaks more about the artists and their creative process, which is a mix of found objects, a lot of texture, and some issues around technological advancement, which is making an impact in the global space. So you have Ade Adonfa, who works with vintage textiles, particularly vintage lace, and he does the most amazing portraits looking at these, um, using this lace as a background and working with the texture. Very, very nuanced and beautiful works. And then we have, on the other hand, Tayo Layode, who is really an experimental artist. He uses every imaginable medium to create these amazing assemblages of works with flip-flops, with metal, with newspaper, and also he paints. I'm featuring 15 of my mostly my list, uh, acrylic on list work, which is my signature of, uh, art piece. You know, I paint mostly on texturized material. I'm, I'm being driven, my works are driven by texture. I, I love painting on texture. Uh, and list, uh, because list is, uh, is designed in various ways and you know, various texture. So it gives the painting a uh, different feel. And um, most of the works are directed by the design on the list. So one of my aim is to give the list material a new life. While the artists dive deeper on some of the exhibits on the walls. 
these are works that I did with some mundane materials. They are actually uh, in my in the series I did exploring materials and methods. Uh, I use mundane materials, things around me, found objects to actually create a piece. It's a new technology. It's meant to revolutionize or change the face of wall mural in Nigeria. It's actually meant for a big project which I domesticated for my studio. I've known um, Tayo um, for over, I met him in 1999, and since then I've been a collector of his work. Um, and from Tayo, I met um, Ade as well, and I've been um, working with Ade. Um, I also exhibit some of his works in my in a, one of my uh, places. So it's very inspiring. It's beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing, and it's it really represents African art very well. I'm uh, very pleased and happy to be here. I have a long-standing interest in uh, art and uh, has been an art collector of many years. And I'm particularly happy to be um, at this particular exhibition because I know the two artists and uh, knew them from when they finished art school back in the late 90s and uh, collected their works even as early as then. So uh, I think that is even where the relationship starts from. And it pleases me to see that uh, more than 20 years later, uh, SMO Contemporaries is having a show for them. Prior to this time, the artists have worked together on several projects that shows the beauty of the Nigerian creative space and look forward to more collaborations together for the good of the arts. We have a lot more to enjoy, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. Next week on Art House. Exodus, location and destination. A group exhibition at Unilag. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House today. We appreciate you for spending time with us and look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Do stay safe and keep being creative.